Hi, I'm Tech. This is my channel Bootlosophy, and today we're going to take a look at the unboxing of the Grant Stone Diesel Boot in Tan Essex. <laughs> So this is the packing uh, box that Grant Stone boots usually arrive in. Uh, there's two boxes, there's the internal shoe box and the packing box itself. There's extreme attention to detail that you can see uh, directly from the boxes themselves. Now, this package arrived in two weeks during the Christmas period, which is actually sensational because the average uh, the, uh, time that it takes for packages to arrive in Australia from the United States is about four weeks that I've experienced so far. One of the pairs of boots that I ordered took six weeks, so um, two weeks is, is quite amazing. Um, the way the packing box is packed is that you open from the end, and I'll show you why. Um, I've stuffed it up before, but uh, you can tell the right way to open is the, um, the way the, the writing points upwards. So this is the end that you want to open. This is my grandfather's craft knife, by the way. He used to make... Um, all sorts of models and things. And once we open the box, you can see why I took so much fuss to open it the right way. The, uh, the shoe box itself is inside with a little finger hole for you to pull out. Now, you'll see that it's actually packed with other pieces of cardboard so that the internal box doesn't rattle around uh, in shipping. And I've had other boots arrive from other companies where this hasn't happened and that's practically destroyed some softer boxes during shipping. So the idea is to pull the shoe box out and this is the uh, actual shoe box itself in which the boots are contained. Um, it tells you what the model is, the diesel boot with tan Essex, Grant Stone logos, the thing I love about Grant Stone boxes is the attention to detail. The top, the cover, fits flush with the rest of the box because of this internal lip that they create around the box. I mean, that just takes attention to detail thinking. Opening the box, we are familiar with a thank you card, personally signed by um, one of the guys at Grant Stone. Uh, provides an email if there are any questions. There's a postcard uh, which talks about the initial fit and how you should uh, try them on on carpet so that you might be able to send them back. Consignment note. The ubiquitous Grant Stone pouch with spare laces, cotton flat, um, uh, wax flat, and the iconic Grant Stone shoehorn and a bottle opener. It's a really lovely touch, but between you and me, the shoehorn is too short to be any use at all, and the bottle opener doesn't quite work because it doesn't get the right leverage, but <laughs> it's a beautiful thought. Okay, so let's clear the table. And once again, Grant Stone provides these um, linen, twill, cotton cloths, not quite sure what they're for. Other people have said that maybe you're meant to stand on them so that you don't scratch the uh, bottoms of the soles. Um, I've seen them used as polishing cloths, which is what I use them for. Inside, each individual boot is in its um, own shoe bag, separated, once again, attention to detail, separated by a piece of foam. So not only are they protected by the shoe bag, uh, again, scratching and knocking on each other, but they're individually separated by a piece of foam. Supendous attention to detail. Pull out the other one. Right, so this is the diesel boot in tan Essex leather from Horween. And it is just a beautiful leather. Open the other one. They come with leather laces, as you saw um, just now. They also give you spare uh, cotton laces in case you want to switch them. At first glance, they look 
really nice. Some slight creasing. Is that loose grain? I don't know. Along there. Uh, triple stitch, double stitch on the um, heel pad, heel uh, uh, cover, a backstay, and there's another uh, backstay that goes inside. It's fully lined, of course, as all Grant Stones, and the day night sole. Let's take a look in greater detail. It's a lovely coloured leather. Not particularly shiny, although Grant Stone waxes them before they go out. Um, four eyelets, three speed hooks, uh, almost a perfect combination. I think from past experience, Grant Stone boots uh, are partially gusseted up to but there. Uh, some of them are not. Uh, the Edward boot, for example, is not gusseted. The uh, uh, veg tan midsole showing and the veg tan welt is showing with detail on the uh, wheeling and the stitching. I mean, look at that stitching. There's really um, no, no errors to the perfection of the stitch per inch. I think I might have said a day-night sole when I flipped the other one over, but this is not a day-night sole. This is Grant Stone's own proprietary studded sole that's obviously um, uh, similar to a day-night. Now, this is different from my past, um, my other Grant Stones. The other Grant Stones have a little smiley face like the Day-Night does. This is different iteration, I guess. In terms of quality control, you know, there, I just cannot see anything wrong. Now, this is my favourite game with Grant Stone boots. Can you see the joint in the welt? Because I can't. I think it's there, but I'm not 100% certain. With um, other boot makers, there is a joint that is visible where perhaps the end of this welt overlaps the other one or they don't quite meet or they slightly tilted. But with Grant Stone boots, I usually play spot the welt or spot the welt joint. I honestly can't, can you? Quite incredible. Okay, I'll put some uh, on feet footage. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click on the like button below. And while you're there, why don't you click on subscribe because I'll have many more boot videos to come. Clicking on the like button helps me and helps the algorithm to push this video out to others who might like to watch this unboxing. I'll see you soon.